discussing about how we can deploy a sample streamlit web app on streamlit server uh, that will be free so eventually let's first of all see what is the sample of app that you are going to deploy so it has multiple pages nothing but uh, just some sample text with it so now let's move on to see uh, how this can be deployed so i'm assuming that uh, this repo the code repo that you have you are basically you are familiar with the streamlit basics and this repo is a github repo so you can see that all the files present in the github repo sample underscore streamlit that we have all these files are present and we wish to uh, push it to a git uh, remote repository and then we'll be deploying that uh, remote repository on streamlit server uh, so first of all we need to create a requirements.txt file for deploying purpose uh, we would be doing this using a library called a speaker uh, pigar so it is already pre-installed for me but you can pip install it uh, as, as easy as that uh, the commands are also very easy like you need to present in the uh, parent directory in which all the files are present to create the requirements or txt and call out this command py minus m pgr now this will create automatically a requirements or txt file as you can see here a file has been generated for us now next uh, what we are doing going to do is to uh, check out for uh, the git status of the repository our branch is up to date if it is if it isn't up to date like uh, then we would have it added all the files and committed that uh, we would have get pushed it to the git uh, origin main like like this git push we will see a pop up that the files are already updated uh, so no no requirement for uh, pushing anything but uh, if you have added new files then you need to do this once we are done with this we can go and check out uh, on the remote get, uh, get remote whether the files are present or not in our repository you can see all the files that we need for the project are present next step is to go for our streamlit login uh, so we will be logging in using our uh, github credentials I am already logged in my system, but when uh, whenever it asks you for login, so do log in through your GitHub uh, credentials only because this will help it automatically detect the uh, repositories present that can be deployed. Uh, so now you can see that uh, we have uh, our app already uh, deployed. Now we'll be deploying a new app. Here I need to like as you can see in the drop down. All the repos that are present in my repository are uh, in my GitHub repo or pre uh, repos, uh, profile are present here. So we will be deploying the sample streamlet. That is, I am saying to you to log in through your GitHub account. As you can see, my GitHub uh, username is coming here, and all the uh, repos are visible to streamlet now. It is asking which branch my brother branch is uh, me and which file to be deployed. The landing page is our overview.py. Now we will click on deploy. This will take some time, like a minute or two. So our deployment has already started. You can go and see in the manage dot manage underscore app section on the bottom right corner. All the requirements are getting installed uh, by streaming automatically. It's like a no effort from the developer side, even in terms of deployment. Uh, so we just need to push our code into GitHub, uh, then log into our Streamlit uh, account, and then eventually. Click on the repo that we wish to install, uh, that we wish to deploy alongside the landing page, and rest of the things are taken care of by Streamlit itself. The app is getting uh, deployed, for it will take some time. Uh, as you can see now, our app has been deployed on Streamlit server, and this is the URL for the app. The above URL, as you can see, uh, you can go back into the Streamlit account. You can check that a new app has been added. Uh, when you click on the three dots, you can have copy URL. You can check out the analytics. You can set it as favorite or you can reboot it as well if you find any issue. We can go into settings and check out a few things as well. So this is how we have deployed our Streamlit app from localhost to uh, Streamlit server.